Hello, fellow YouTubers, it's Multikiller Joe, and I'm signing in for a whole new episode of The Walking Dead, Episode 2. So, where we last left off. What's this? Okay, yep, they're all in start, stalled. It says play. Episode 2, Starve for Help. Thank you for, thank you for watching this series with, as I play this series. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, but I didn't have the right type of computer to do it, and now I do, and now I have Season 1 and Season 2 of The Walking Dead. So, yeah. I'm very, very happy because I've got many more games I can play. Previously on The Walking Dead. Previously on The Fapping Dead. Oh, I got Watch another out. good one for you. Dang. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. And so it continues. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Damn. Well, that's another meal lost. Don't worry, <sighs> man. Still we'll get some we food. All that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. I'm hungry too. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage, not enough. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Levy knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and, and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's better off. Kenny won't abandon Kenny us. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Kenny's a good Larry guy. going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <laughs> I have to do it. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. 
Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find <laughs> I, I And I know to, Lily thinks he's I getting to say weak, that. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. He did that. He did that. True dog. Zombie crows. Nah, just joking. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. No, nope. come on. Didn't sound like Kenny. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out what? here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh oh, Walker. The strap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those Walkers off of me. Ah, uh, fuck it. Gotta axe it. Gotta axe it. Can I ask you a question before I do this? Please do something! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Yep, too late, buddy. Ah! I'm sorry, bro. That's just how it's gotta be. Oh. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, God. Oh, God. Lee, it has to be now! Oh, oh. Ah. Look up. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Go, 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 go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Kid, you're fucked. Really? You're just gonna stand there? Idiot. Get what you deserve, Travis. No! The Walking Dead. How could it... I don't understand. If there's zombies coming at you and you're just gonna fall over something like a retard and sit there, of course you're gonna fucking die. You can't... One of the main rules of surviving a zombie apocalypse, you can't hesitate or you will die.
the fills. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, what's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wh what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own, I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> you know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. I will, bitch. I mean, I like you, Lily, but you can't That's kind of a bitch. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Look. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Okay. I'll do it. days ago I promise if I find it I'll let you know thank you okay Clem I've got to take care of some things why don't you go back to playing with duck for a while okay checking out something real quick videos okay good all right no more interruptions for for this episode. 
Gotta give her one of these. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Cheese and crackers. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? An apple a day will keep the retard away. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna try to make peace. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Sure. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm gonna give it to Larry since he's, you know, I'm just trying to... Give the axe to Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Yep. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Dick. I would give you food, man, but I think Concha needs it the most. Give it to someone oh, else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Concha needs it the most because she's the doctor. I would give it to him, but he's probably fucked. He's probably fucked, anywho. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right <coughs> thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Damn right it's well, scary. you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Psh. You know what? I'm going to give it to a good friend of mine. Wait. Ken, Kenny or Lily? Kenny or Lily? Kenny or Lily? Fuck it. I'll give it to Kenny because he's a good Want guy. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Kenny, you're a good fella. Ah, oh, fuck. I should've gave it to her. Not such an easy job, is it? <laughs> it's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. 
Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. He needs Better a break. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck, I couldn't talk. Fucking get off of her, you faggot. Oh god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Get out of the damn way! You missed, Dickweed. That was the biggest laggiest fucking thing ever. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 Oh. Motherfucker, get off me! Come on! Ah. Don't waste your ammo! Thank you, bad. But you wasted a bullet. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! I already got myself killed because of your ass, motherfucker. Come get some, bitch. God, Larry, Why didn't you I give tell you some us food. He was bitten. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected. all infected. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think... I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my <laughs> brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are, Are you armed? armed? Yeah. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, 
this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. That be this true. This Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Me as a leader. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. You're so because sweet. Of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up, I grew up in, Macon. in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? <laughs> it's democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's all There's only yourself. two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a Yeah, you know what? He ate them. it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> oh shit. Jesus. Damn, that sounds like me on a bad day. Shit. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Uh, there could be loot on his body, you dickweeds. Whatever. Whatever. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Have, Have you ever had, had any accidents? accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. We all work together. 
Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're, We're awful, awful hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You okay. Got you. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make Before this place we can think safe. about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Is Andy over here? Looks safe. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Let's fix perimeter. Now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Yeah, I try to be civil, but he is a bit of a racist one. prick. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't think I don't know so. Who got him first, the arrow or the fence? Either way, hope he was already dead. 
Get the fuck off. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Get the fuck off there. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. <coughs> Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We can take the place if we have to. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. It is There's gonna another fall apart. one. I see it. I don't feel right about this. Please be dead. Stop. Stop. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> I'll get you, buddy. I got you. Please don't let that rock or bit Walker be alive. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <gasps> oh God. What the? Get to the gate. Uh oh. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. out. Here. Damn. Okay. Get it. Grab it. Grab it. Go. 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 Fucking go! Go, go, Buffalo! Go, go, Buffalo! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! I see him! What about our arrangement? We ain't had forever! Oh. Wait, hurry up! Come on, if we, we can reach the food. gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're out Sick there! Of it. Come on, stay with it, Lee. Stay with it, Lee. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. It's not one of the dead we pushed out earlier. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. It's not one of the dead we pushed out earlier. I got one of you. Where do you think you're going? Behind the tractor! I got you now! Another one of these one? are gonna be How alive. many of those things did we push down? What about our arrangement? We had a deal! Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking get off me, you faggot! Ugh. Okay, goodbye. 
you okay? Yeah. Bear. Come on. The gate's right there. Come on. Go. Go. Bucket, run, 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 run away. Yes. Thank you guys for being dumbasses. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Okay, anyways, guys, that is all for this episode, or well, part to this episode. Multicolor Joe signing out.